Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum, and we're going to be putting back on our on-chain analysis hat and looking at supply count statistics. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com where you can access this chart, as well as a lot of other on-chain charts and other types of data besides on-chain stuff. Now, these videos I know can be a bit dry, the on-chain stuff, but again, why should this video be any different than any of the others? But one of the things that I thought is useful is to just sort of see patterns in accumulation of Ethereum. So what we're going to look at is supply count statistics natively, so native units. So instead of looking at it denominated by certain amounts of dollars, we're just going to look at it in terms of addresses that hold between certain amounts of Ether, if that makes sense, okay? The reason why um, it, I think this is a little bit more helpful than USD is because, again, the USD portion could easily change just as the price goes up. Whereas if you're actually holding Ether, we want to know, okay, are there people continuing to, to accumulate? Um, are they not? What does that ultimately look like? So if you look at the, the ETH supply held by addresses with less than 0.001 ETH, you can see that it's currently coming in at around 12.61 thousand. Okay, um, you can also switch this over to a percent scale as well so that you get an idea of the percentage of total supply, which I think is probably a better way to look at it rather than just looking at it at the total amount. So if you look at the total amount of ETH held in addresses that hold less than 0.001 ETH, you can see that it's currently coming in at around 0.01%. It has been steadily going up though, basically forever. Um, hasn't really spent too much time going down. Now, if you go look at, say, between 0.001 to 0.01, what you'll see is that it actually did go down during this pullback back in the summer of 2021. And my sort of thinking about this is that, um, you know, it could have been a couple of things. It could have been people accumulating. It could have just been people sort of selling off. But again, this is a very small amount of ether. So it's probably not worth our time thinking about it too much. I mean, you know, a thousandth of an ether isn't necessarily going to make a huge difference in 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 ultimate you know in, in the price so let's continue on and look at between 0.01 to 0.1 ETH. so right now ethereum i mean ether is currently coming in at, at you know around 1800 1900 so 0.1 eth is still you know almost a couple hundred bucks if you look at this you can see that it has been generally increasing except for this you know the the, the pandemic drop it has been more or less increasing recently it sort of leveled out a little bit okay so you can see that recently it has in fact leveled out if we continue on and look at 0.1 to 1 eth it's actually fallen off quite a bit recently in this most recent rally and i think some people are wondering you know is this a bear market rally is it not um, if it is a bear market rally, then it, you might assume that it's going to look like something like this, where you see these sort of step functions down until we ultimately get to the accumulation phase, and then we just go sideways, okay? So this one, um, you know, isn't necessarily the most bullish indicator to see it kind of come down like that, but there are some other ones that, that do look a little bit more optimistic. For instance, addresses that hold between 1 to 10 ETH shows that it has been just generally steadily increasing. Um, essentially... I mean, for the entire bull market, and even, even going into the accumul or and even going into the bear market, right? So the the bull market, and then going sideways for a while, and then the bear market. This has just been more or less going up after leveling out during the accumulation phase of 2018. What's interesting, or 2019 and 2020. What's interesting is that it kept going up over here, and then it only went sideways once the accumulation range was reached, right? Once the bear market bottom was reached, have we reached it? Obviously, a little too early to say right now. Um, we'll have to see this how it unfolds over the next several months. If you look at a, a Ethereum supply held by addresses between with between 10 to 100 ETH, it actually shows that it's actually been going up into this move. If you look at the comparison to this move over here, you can see that the this actually went down. It was at about 6%. It went all the way back down to about you know 5.38% or so, maybe a little bit lower. But it was just steadily going up throughout this bear market and accumulation phase. And it only started to go down during this major bull run. So long-term investors were, in fact, taking profits. Now, since then, this has just been going back up again. So I think what we're in right now is sort of just this phase, right? Like, we're not in the phase where there's going to be a ton of people that are that would consider themselves long-term investors that are going to sell ETH at, at 2K. Um, of course, you're going to have traders and, and shorter-term swing traders that do that. But the longer-term 
you know, outlook that, that some people might have, like the people that were accumulating in this bear market in this accumulation phase, they only started to really sell off after Ethereum really went into its bull market, okay? And then you can see that it sort of slowed down finally after Ethereum hit that first top or so, or maybe just after it. Since then, it's just been going up again. And my speculation is that it's likely just going to continue going up. Um, even if the bear market is not over, it'll likely just continue to go up into the accumulation phase and into the next bull market. And maybe once we're halfway through the next bull market, you might actually see it go back down. If you go to 100 to 1,000 ETH in addresses, you can see that once upon a time, it made up over 10% of the supply. In the same way as the prior one we looked at, into this bull market, into this bull run over here, long-term investors that were holding between 100 to 1,000 ETH, you can see this really started to fall off all the way down to about 8.45% by the summer lull of 2021. And then it just went sideways. And then recently, during the most recent dip, it actually went up a little bit, perhaps there were a decent amount of buyers waiting to buy it under $1,000. And then since then, it's just sort of leveled off once again. So you're probably not gonna see this one go down significantly until you see another macro bull run where Ethereum is, is starting to flirt with its prior all-time high or getting somewhat close to it. If we continue on to say 1,000 to 10,000 ETH in addresses, interestingly here, it's just sort of leveled off for, for quite some time. It hasn't really done anything. It's just leveled off at around 12%, and we haven't really seen any major changes there. If you go to between 10,000 to 100,000 ETH, ETH, a very similar story, right? Sort of sold off a lot, or the, the percentage held in these wallets went down quite a bit um, during, you know, during this 2021 mania phase, but it hasn't really done much of anything since then. And then finally, we'll, we'll quickly look at the, the, the final two. This one, I would expect to just keep going down because it's going to become more and more prohibitive, especially from one cycle to another for a single address to hold between 100 to a million ETH. Um, once upon a time, it was at around 35%. Now it's all the way down at around 21 to 22%. This is likely going to continue going down with time. And then finally, over 1 million ETH, you can see that it's actually uh, the, the percentage of wallets that hold or the percentage of addresses that hold more than 1 million ETH um, in terms of the total supply. Once upon a time, it was as low as 7.7%. Now it's currently at around 21, 22%. You're probably talking about some major institutions or exchanges and whatnot that are that are holding this, but it, the data's there um, at least to to take note of. Let me know what you guys think about this content. I mean, we could also quickly look at, at maybe denominated it in US dollars. Not gonna spend a lot of time on it here, but if you just wanna look at say between 100 to $1,000, um, some, some really weird stuff. Oh, this is Bitcoin. Let me go to um, uh, Ethereum. So if you look at it with regards to Ethereum, uh, again, it went down into that bull market, but arguably it went down just because the valuations of everyone's portfolios were going up and they were going into the next bend area between 1,000 to 10,000. And then maybe those are going to 10,000 to 100,000. Of course, some of it is people taking profits, right? Like, you know, for, for people that have between 10,000 to 100,000 dollars in Ether, I'm sure some people were taking profits. I was doing it back in early 2021. Haven't really done a whole lot since then, to be completely honest. Um, but it neither, I mean, this is more or less just flatlined over here. And it's currently currently sitting at around 6.49 million um, in terms of the supply count. If we switch this over to a percentage, it's currently sitting around 5.42%. 5, 5 and then finally, maybe we'll just take a look at the ETH supply held by addresses with between 100K to a million dollars worth. Look, it was going down for a while and then it just sort of flatlined for all of 2021 as price stayed relatively steady. It's gone up a little bit recently in terms of the percentage, despite the fact that the price was going down, um, but it hasn't really done much of anything since then. So what's interesting, or at least somewhat interesting, is during this bear market, it went up quite a bit. Um, during this one, it hasn't really, hasn't really moved a whole lot, which is somewhat interesting. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Remember, we do have Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com, where you can access this as well as a ton of other charts. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. I'll, give, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.